I think uh, Andy Griffiths and, and Terry have a relentless imagination and anything goes. So uh, we find ourselves in a, in a massive treehouse where there is monsters, flying cats, uh, gorillas, uh, large bananas that are used as weapons. It's, it's anarchic fun, really. And uh, it is a big show, actually. It's a lot of fun. Andy, you'll never guess what happened. You married a sea monster, and now you're off to live in an underwater 30s. I'm a little butt. You married. Terry. Terry. Andy. <laughs> There's puppetry, um, there's physical comedy, there's uh, animation, uh, shadow play. Well, the great thing about puppetry is it's bringing life into an inanimate object. And because it's a puppet, you can do anything with it, which really marries well in with the concept of the show of using your imagination. So the audience helps to create something together. And um, so it's not just me making a puppet come to life, but the audience helps to bring that character to life as well in their imagination. Now the audience makes all those things happen in their minds because we give just enough clues just a, and just enough kind of visual information for, for the audiences to, to put, to join the dots, to actually imagine that they are looking at a 13-storey treehouse, that, that there is a swimming pool filled with sharks, that there is a lemonade fountain. Um, because we go on this fantastic journey um, of the imagination. It's an hour of madness and, and it should be fun, not just for, for, for kids, but I think there's a lot in it for adults as well. Well, it's supposed to be for children, and it is, but I think it's, uh, it's as funny for parents. Uh, I know I, I'm laughing a lot uh, in rehearsals, um, but I, I think um, kids sort of six up um, and kids 40 up who uh, um, will really enjoy this, uh, this show.